Next chapter, 25, parasites cause lower copper. The effect of gastrointestinal parasitism on blood copper and hemoglobin levels in sheep. Link, quote, copper was administered intramuscularly to parasite infected and non-infected animals. The results showed that parasitism has a depressing effect on blood copper and HB levels, even when administered parenterally. It is concluded that parasitism can aggravate existing hypocupremia, which is low copper, and possibly influence the expression of swayback disease, and swayback is typical of copper deficiency in sheep. Conversely, copper is used to kill worms and parasites. According to Wikipedia, copper sulfate is used as a mollusc mollusc <laughs> molluscicide to treat Belharzia in tropical countries. And another link, quote, in veterinary practice, it, it is used, this is copper sulfate, it is used as an anti-helminic, which is a dewormer, an emetic and fungicide, and for treating copper deficiency in ruminants. Chapter 26, iron lowers copper and copper lowers iron. Iron overload can induce mild copper deficiency. High iron consumption impairs growth and causes copper deficiency anemia in weanling, sprague, dolly rats. Conversely, and also, copper lowers iron. St uh, title study says, copper supplementation reverses dietary iron overload induced pathologies in mice. Link. So the obvious question becomes, if excess iron causes copper deficiency, does it lead to neuropathy or the other conditions associated with copper deficiency? Yes, and we will see. So chapter 27, high iron causes neuropathy. Neurotoxic effects of iron overload under high glucose concentration. Quote, study and uh, quote, quote, iron overload can lead to cytotoxicity and it is a risk factor for diabetic peripheral neuropathy. However, the underlying mechanism remains unclear. Well, I think I found the underlying mechanism. It's because iron blocks copper. <laughs> Let me clarify. Iron blocks copper and copper is needed by the nerves. Quote, um, so another study quote, iron homeostasis in peripheral nervous system, still a black box? Like they don't know. Quote, advances during the past years, much effort has been paid to understand the molecular mechanism involved in maintaining systemic iron homo homeostasis in mammals. This has been stimulated by the evidence that iron dyshomeostasis is an initial cause of several disorders, including genetic and sporadic neurodegenerative disorders. Critical issues, however, very little has been done to investigate the physiological role of iron in peripheral nervous system, PNS, despite the development of suitable cellular and animal models, future directions to stimulate research on iron metabolism and peripheral neuropathy. Again, they don't know. It's copper deficiency. Chapter 28. High iron causes heart disease. Mayo Clinic diseases conditions link. Heart problems. Excess iron in your heart affects the heart's ability to circulate enough blood for your body's needs. This is called congestive heart failure. Hemochromatosis, or heavy iron, can also cause abnormal heart rhythms or arrhythmias. Too much iron may lead to heart attack. Uh, quote, as the level of iron goes up in your bloodstream, so apparently does your risk for heart attack and stroke. And again, copper keeps iron in check. Chapter 29, high iron causes lung diseases. Quote, uh, serum hepcidin levels are elevated in COPD and are associated with increased intracellular iron in the lung. Another study uh, title, anemia in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, is the fourth leading cause of death. death. Underlying mechanisms are complex, including dysregulation in iron. What keeps iron regulated? Copper. Study title, quote, Why are asthma rates soaring? Scientific American, April 14, 2011. Asthma rates have been surging around the globe over the past three. Uh, this research sheds light on the connection between increased iron, dot, dot, dot. Chapter 30, High Iron Causes Cancer, The Role of Iron in Cancer. Quote, Numerous laboratory and clinical investigations over the past few decades have observed that one of the dangers of iron is its ability to favor neoplastic cell growth. The metal is carcinogenic due to its catalytic, catalytic effect on the formation of hydroxyl radicals, suppression of the activity of host defense cells, and promotion of cancer cell multiplication. In both animals and humans, 
Primary neoplasms develop at body sites of excessive iron deposits. Next study title, iron, radiation, and cancer. Increased iron content of cells and tissue may increase the risk of cancer. In particular, high available iron status may increase the risk of a radiation-induced cancer. Next study title, Cancer Project Iron, Double-Edged Sword. Quote, iron encourages the formation of cancer-causing free radicals. Of course, the body needs a certain amount of iron for healthy blood cells, but beyond this rather small amount, iron becomes a dangerous substance acting as a catalyst for the formation of free radicals. Because of this, research studies have shown that higher amounts of iron in the blood mean higher cancer risk. Another study title, Iron and Cancer. Iron is a powerful stimulus for cancer growth, invasion, and metastasis, which is cancer. Another study title, Iron's Dangers from RayPete.com. Quote, the pioneer researcher in the role of iron in immunity believed that an excess of dietary iron contributed to the development of leukemia and lymphatic cancers. Next, next article, Breast Cancer and Iron from HealthyFellow.com, Women's Health. Quote, <clears throat> a relatively new piece in the breast cancer prevention puzzle is beginning to come to light. A study just published in the journal, journal of Clinical Biochemistry and Nutrition is the latest to point out an apparent risk link between elevated iron levels and an increased risk of breast cancer. Iron in men, link, quote, iron acts as a cancer promoting agent by two separate yet synergistic mechanisms. One, by producing free radicals and two, by feeding cancer cells. Another study title, Iron and Calcium Linked to Lung Cancer, 2005. Iron and calcium are linked to a higher risk of lung cancer in a new research from the Harvard School of Public Health. Next study, Iron Regulating Protein is a strong uh, predictor of breast cancer prognosis. <clears throat> Quote, A new study may soon help to spare some women with breast cancer from having to undergo invasive and toxic treatments for their disease. Next study, the role of iron in infections and cancer. Quote, iron is an oxidant as well as a nutrient for invading microbial, microbial and neoplastic cells. Excessive iron in specific tissues and cells, iron loading promotes. Again, next study, iron enhances tumor growth. Idiopathic hemochromatosis is associated with a higher risk of primary liver cancer. To test the hypothesis that iron enhances tumor growth, we've conducted dot, dot, dot. Cancer and iron from IMPPC. Elevated iron stores are linked to an increased risk of cancer and cancer mortality. One third of HH patients will develop hepatocellular carcinoma, so on, so on. Iron and colorectal risks, human studies link. And that's it. I'm going to be on chapter 31 next.